Horns Pro Audio Video Part 2. Hi, this is Jim Lawson for Borns Pro Audio. Welcome to part two of our series on the differences between standard and high-end guitar potentiometers. I'm here again today with the guitar potentiometer guru, Chuck Manzano. Chuck, what else can you tell us today about the, the designs for the Model 82 and the Model 95? Well, most potentiometers have some type of a lubricant between the contact and the element. Uh, and the reason for that is to enhance rotational life and to prevent premature contact wear. Uh, potentiometers that don't have any type of lubricant have normally have a very, very low rotational life. There are several types of lubricants that can be used. Some of them have insulative properties, others have conductive properties. And the particular lubricant that we use for the Model 95s and the Model 82s uh, enhance the signal-to-noise ratio and, and provide uh, extended rotational life. As you can see from this close-up shot, the, the contact spring will wipe across the element and the lubricant provides enhanced rotational life and it protects the contact against premature wear with repeated usage. In addition, another benefit is that the, uh, the lubricant does not degrade over time so you don't get that crystallization effect and, and you don't get any noise in the output. So it's my understanding that some of the Model 82s that we released in the late 70s are still in use today? That's absolutely correct. We originally released the Model 82s back in the late 70s, and they made their ways into custom shops, into some of the signature series guitars, and they are still in use today. We, we have had uh, some of the artists and uh, people who use these gu guitars with, with the potentiometers stop at our booth at the uh, NAMM shows and um, tell us that they're still using the original pots. That's what spurred us to re-release the Model 82s as a vintage model. Uh, the original release was the Model 95s, which is a, a lower cost version. There's less piece parts in it, but there was still a demand for the vintage 82s. So the 82s then have a track record, uh, quite a long track record in electric guitars. That's absolutely correct, and they're still functional. After all these years, they're still uh, in good working condition. So I've seen commercial products available to, I guess, the clean and, and make the potentiometers less noisy. What's your comment on that? Well, that's, that's great for a quick fix. Uh, if you're at a gig or if you're, you're out playing and, mm -hmm. and you have a guitar that you pick it up and it's starting to get noisy, you know, you squirt some, some, uh, uh, some of the cleaner in there and, and clean up the pot. But in the long run, what you're doing is you're washing away the lubricant that was there originally to extend the, the life of the pot. You're washing that away and you're going to wind up with a, a pot that's got a much shorter life. So the message then is either replace the pot or we would hope you would upgrade the pot. That, that that's correct. Time. That's okay. correct. Okay, interesting. This concludes part two of our discussion on standard guitar pots versus high-end guitar pots. Be sure to check out part one and part three. <laughs>